fettuccine with puttanesca, tomatoes, olives, mm. capers, hot pepper, garlic, and anchovies. This actually, this recipe is like really quick. It's really simple. That's why I like it. You can usually, I mean, aside from the fresh basil, which I did not mention, you can pretty much use like any of your pantry items. I cook almost every day. Um, of course, like I like to go out and eat too, and experience what New York City has to offer, but there's nothing better than like coming home to cook. Like if I don't, if I go a long time without making a meal, I just feel like out of whack. Like I feel like I'm off my axis and I'm not a human being. I mostly cook Italian food. My dad's a restaurateur or was a restaurateur. He's now retired. He's owned several Italian restaurants between DC and Virginia. You know, growing up eating or being very conscientious of food because food is like what Food is kind of what my family's all about. I help out as often as I can. My dad has taught me pretty much like everything I know. I host like at one of my dad's restaurants that was closer to the White House on F Street. It was like a block or two away from like the White House. Okay, I think, yeah, we're gonna go with one ball. I'm not gonna try to kill us. <laughs> Although I could. All right, capers, calmadas. Do you like spicy? Okay, good. <laughs> answering all my questions the right way. Oh, what do you like? Yeah, your parents. Uh, very intimate Tinder date. Hey girl, let me come into your apartment and like watch you cook while I ask questions and film me. <laughs> <laughs> if you leave it up to me and my own devices, I would eat pasta every day. Try to be an adult and be healthy. I I cook maybe, maybe I, I try to do at least once a week. Like once a week you have to treat yourself. So I'll do, I'll do like a pasta on like a Sunday or maybe a Friday night feel better when I don't eat like as much like heavy carby thing. You can ride to eat. You can literally like use that as a vehicle of exploring different like in New Jersey or like Long Island or even if you're in the city it's just like a good way to like get to where you want to get to and eat something good quickly. <laughs> There's obviously like a lot of good restaurants in Lambsburg, a lot of good ones in Fort Green, uh, Red Hook. One of my favorite restaurants. Shit. Um, it depends. That's like, I can't answer this because there's just a lot of good food everywhere. I still like Roberta's. I think Roberta's is still amazing. I know that everybody hyped it up, but I still love Roberta's for good pizza. Speedy Romeo here in bed is really good too. Or I'm putting together my food blog. It's Alessandra Eats on Instagram. I launched it about a year ago. We'll see what happens and I try not to stress myself too much about it. I don't really have a defined strategy right now. Now I'm just like, you know what, just cook what you enjoy, eat what you enjoy when you go out. And if it makes you happy, just, just put it up there, photo nice, and just see where it goes. Just like, you know, I'm also an artist and designer, and I just like the shapes and colors of food. And I think like ingredients of food and cooked food can also be like an aesthetic medium of some sort. So I hope to get into like some like weird pasta art. I was riding on the Pacific Coast Highway. Right when I got out of San Francisco, I was like, okay, I'm hungry. I needed to like fuel up before like the rest of my journey and I saw that there was this place and I pulled over and the sun was shining I, I got there, I was facing the ocean, had this beautiful table to myself Took off my helmet, had my helmet here, I had these like oysters and I had like a beer and the sun was on my face and like I was so fucking happy like that's a moment in life that I will It's so simple and silly maybe but like I just was like this is it This is, this is a beautiful thing this is what life should be all the time. <laughs> In Italian, puttana means whore. <laughs> and I think the, according to the legend is that like during the old days when men would go to the brothels, the they had to wait because they would be like a parlor where you sit and then there'd, there'd be rooms, I guess, where people would fuck. Whoever was managing the brothel would like make puttanesca, make this sauce because it was like quick and fast and they can just like feed a bunch of people while they were waiting to get banged. <laughs> Literally means whore's pasta, so we're eating a, a slutty pasta. <laughs> the legend of Buda Nascar.